I want to say good day to you. And as I promised, um, I'll be showing you today how you can um, germinate your apple seeds successfully, have a really good success rate. And I'm going to sh be showing you the method that I use um, to, to get that done. Okay, um, so I have my apple seeds here. And before I, I start, I just want to, to tell you that it is best that in terms of choosing seeds, make sure that you have um, um, an apple that is fully ripe um, because you really want to mimic conditions out there in the, in, in the wild outdoors. Okay, so if you have an apple and it is not fully ripe but you want the seeds, just put it down there for a little while, let it get fully ripe and then you can get the seeds. Okay. Um, obviously will dry the seeds because obviously if there is any degree of moisture on them and you put them to the um the germany you might you might have a situation where fungus might develop and you don't want that okay right so i have my seeds there they're all dried up and so on um what i'll be doing what i'll be um what i'm going to be showing today is as i said how i have uh, successfully germinated um my apple seeds okay now you've seen on my videos I have trees that are um, approaching four or five feet tall and I have more than one. So I have a lot. Um, I have even given, given away some. So I have had um, a pretty good success rate um, where germination is um, concerned. Okay. So the first thing that I will normally do once my seeds are, are, are dry and so on, um, one first thing that I do is that I, I take the seed. Okay. and you realize the apple seed has um, a, like a little pointed end and then a little, um, a little smoother end at the other side and really truly this side here um, is where the seed uh, sorry where the root will, um, will normally come from and then this other part will eventually form the first um, two leaves okay so you want to do something with the tip here to make uh, it easy for the root to come up. Okay, so what I will normally do, and I've done this um, time and time again, and I've been successful at it, so let's, let me get a little knife here. Um, and, and what I'll be doing essentially is I'll just be breaking back this tip here, right? Just a little, okay? And then see properly. Sometimes we'll use my um, fingernails, like with this break back these a little and this helps it makes the, the, the root um, the young root um, easier um, come out so I'm going to be breaking so I do have a leash it's a tedious process um, I'm just going to break back a little so you can see this um, properly. So I'm just going to break it back a little. As I said, I'm using my fingernail, but you can use a knife as well. Moving so far. So I'm going to do this. Again, this is the part that you will come down. And I said, you just want to break it away a bit. Ease. The growth of the root. So you don't want to put it back too far to damage the eye. You see. Okay. I'm going to go four or five of them and then I'm going to show you what I do after. So, Probably pull that one a bit too far. Maybe one more. So I'm going to come here and tip. I'm going to break back here. Right, so if you look at the apple seed, you see that there's a little. Back. A little bit of the tip here, and this is where the root would come from. This one I probably did 
more than enough on that one there. And So I have these five C's, okay? So once you have your um, seasonal, okay, the next thing that you will, you will need to do is to get your container. I'm using a plastic cup. Um, so what I do is that I get some tissue. Okay, like this. Okay, tissue here. And then paste this tissue in the bottom of the Cut. Then I'm going to give it a little um, moisture, not too much, well, not too little either. <laughs> okay, so, so, a little moist, a little, a little more. Okay. So, you see that there? Then I'm going to get my seed out of healthy germination process. Okay. I'm going to just put them in here. Um, put them put them in the, on the top of the tissue there. Tissue, thin piece. Okay, I'm going to just um, cover the seeds um, with tissue. Okay. This is what I've been doing all along, and I've had a really, a really good time. I've been enjoying. Germination um, process. So, this can give it a little more water. Um, right? And then, after that, um, what I do is then I will cover um, the container um, with a piece of plastic. Um, you have a rubber band or something, you can put it around the top. So, I have my apple seed in there. And then, the next thing I will do is I will place this in the refrigerator. I don't want to put it too high um, because then we have a situation where the got to have moisture in, in, in here and um, it might very well freeze everything you don't want it and you can put it in the bottom of the fridge it's very good um, and after two weeks or so you can you can, you can take off the, the cover and you can check on them to make sure uh, that everything is, is, um, is, is going well something you have to monitor for fungal because they might move on to that like um, Catch a little fungus, so you may have to take for that, that one um, or that two. You understand? But you put it in the fridge anyway, and then you, you check on it um, from time to time, and then you will start to see um, germination take, taking place. And, and for me, what I uh, have been doing recently is that once I once I um, start to see germination taking place, right, I will normally take the apples out of the fridge and put them in, in a cool, dry place. And then from there, you will see um, the apple um, seedlings just, you know, they get this should have been here, for lack of a better um, term. Okay, um, and here I have, I brought you, um, just to let you see um, the germination taking place. And, I had this in the refrigerator and I took it out. I said I had it in a cool, dry place. And these apple seeds just shot up in here, you know, and as you can see them there, and they pop this let you get a look, let them get a look. Okay, um, three of them germinated, the rest did not. Um, Most of there was a, some sort of fungus, like what you can see there okay but these again I had them um, in the refrigerator just like what I did with these 
what, what I will do with these. Um, same same method, okay. And in this case, I only got three, but normally I I, I would have. Um, and I, I guess have you seen previous videos, right? I can show you one that I had almost 100% success. But the more seeds you you, you um, put in the tissue, um, the better because then even if someday you'll still have a whole lot that you can that you can transplant. Okay, so. Um, until next time, I hope you try what I've said and you can always um, let me know how things go.